Hello everyone. In this lecture, I will be showing you that how you can download Kali Linux and install it on your virtual machine. So for that, you require two things. That is virtual machine. For that, we you have to download the virtual box. For that, open your browser and go to virtualbox.org. And you will find the download option here. Click on the download virtual box. Whatever will be uh, whatever the uh, version updated version here. No matters. Simply click on the download virtual box. Inside the platform packages, click on the Windows. As I am using the Windows here. If you are using Mac or Linux, you can go for that. So I will be downloading the Windows. So. I have already downloaded the file so you have to save the file and simply go to the download and open the folder where you have downloaded it and simply double click to start the installation wizard next simply follow the steps required for for the installation of the virtual box uh, in my case i have already installed the virtual box so it will show me the two options to repair it or to remove it so i'm doing nothing here but you have to follow the steps which is required if you found any difficulty then you can post me in the comment section and i will there i will be there to help you so i'm i am cancelling this uh, wizard here and now the second thing you will require is the Kali Linux ISO file. For that, open a new tab and go and type Kali Linux. Download and simply hit the enter, and you will find the first link that is official Kali Linux downloads. Click on that. And you will be having the options to download the versions of the Kali Linux. So, uh, so you have to download the Kali Linux 64 bit. For that, you have the direct links and the torrent. If you are using any torrent software, then you can uh, use the torrent link here, or you can simply download it with the direct download link. I have already downloaded the ISO file. Let me show you. This is my file, okay. And I will be processing with the installation of the Kali on our virtual machine. So let me open the virtual machine. Sorry, the virtual box, okay. And don't bother about these two images because these are the already installed on my virtual machine okay to install a new one simply click on the new and you will be prompt with the box simply name the operating system i am giving here kali 2019 latest the machine folder you can change the directory where you want to download uh, or where you want to install it so let me change it and i will be selecting another directory that is the d okay and inside this i will be creating a folder you can choose your own directory okay kali 2019 latest okay and I am selecting this folder to to install all the files. Moving further, the type of operating system, select the Linux and the version for the version. You can choose Debian 64 bit. Okay? Because here we don't have any Kali option, so you can choose the Debian 64 bit 
now next one is the memory size and uh, i will be giving out here 2 gb of the ram okay and uh, for the hard disk option let it be let me click on the guided mode and let's see what we are getting okay says okay that was the export mode so let me go back to the export yep simply again typing the name here and the directory that is inside the e and kali linux 2019 latest select this folder type is linux version is debian 64 bit and the ram i'm going to allocate is 2 gb and for the hard disk i am simply keeping this one create a virtual hard disk now and create okay i'm i'm keeping the uh, options here uh, which are which are uh, pre uh, set as a default you can uh, increase the size of the space on the hard disk you want to allocate so i will simply give out around 15 gb okay it will be better you can type it here 6 uh, 15 gb okay 15 and let me get it okay so it is the 15 gb that will be great and i am not uh, uh, doing any changes here inside the hard disk file type let it be virtual box disk image and simply click on create so you can see we have the uh, operating system options which is added here that is kali 2019 latest now un under the settings you have to make some changes Okay, for the let us move on to system you can give out here two processors okay it will be uh, better for running kali acceleration you can choose the hyper v okay uh, it might be possible that this option varies uh, on different system based on uh, how powerful system you got under under the display we don't want any remote display okay no recordings screen is okay i'm giving out video memory 128 mb okay the storage Now under the storage, okay, uh, we have to choose the ISO file, okay, empty file. So we have to choose the file. Click on this disk image and choose the virtual optical disk file and choose the ISO file. The ISO file has been added here. That's great simply click on ok so you can see the changes are have been taken place for the optical drive it has uh, got the iso file here audio we don't have to change anything right now here 
simply uh, select your operating system and click on start so here our kali linux setup has been started you can also uh, simply use it at the live version of the kali without the installation but it won't uh, save any of your files when you uh, shut down the uh, operating system so in this video we will be installing with the graphical install the language let it be the english country let me choose the india continue for the keyboard american english is perfectly fine okay for the host name i am keeping it kali okay i am not making any changes simply clicking on continue again configure the network nothing to do here simply click on the continue and now you can set your password for the kali operating system simply type the password two times again retype the password here and click on continue for the partition disk use the guided use the entire disk okay simply click on the continue and you will be uh, show uh, get you will be showing with the option that is 16.1 gb which we have chose for the 15 gb okay so you will have the one option here simply click on the continue and recommended for the new user all files in one part uh, one partition okay this is the partition scheme option simply click on the continue finalizing the partitioning and writing writing the changes to the disk yes continue and it will again ask for that write the changes to the disk simply click on yes and continue now it will take some time now once the installation bar got completed you will be redirected to use a network mirror okay so simply click on the continue and let us see what happens okay keep it blank and click on continue so finally you will be redirected to the final step that is install the grub bootloader make sure you choose the yes if you choose the no then your system will not get started so choose the yes option and click on continue simply click on the option available okay don't choose the uh, enter device manually instead of that choose the second option available here which is our hard disk virtual hard disk okay and simply click on continue so finally our installation has been completed click on continue once the installation is completed kali will get restarted and you will get prompted with this screen simply choose the first option or it will automatically choose it for choose it okay let the kali get started So finally 
you will get onto the screen simply type username root hit enter and type the password you have set now let me maximize this one and you will notice that our actual sc screen is not getting maximized this is because the virtual uh, virtual box uh, tools are not installed in this operating system so in the next lecture we will be installing virtual box guest tool